Thank you, Donald. What a, what a real pleasure it is to be here with you uh, in Poland. You know, when we met many, many years ago, you were President Tusk of the European Council. I am very happy to see you as Prime Minister of Poland right now. It is, uh, uh, it is a, a tremendous pleasure to be able to work uh, alongside you uh, again. We, over the years, we've worked on many, many different issues together around the G7 table uh, on issues of uh, environmental responsibility, economic growth, uh, trade, uh, and also standing up for progressive values and fighting for democracy and to see you here uh, doing this now is uh, is a very very good thing and uh, I'm really really happy on a personal uh, level to see you but also very glad uh, as uh, a Canadian Prime Minister to uh, be here in Poland today I had uh, an excellent meeting this morning with President Duda and uh, the conversations we just had really emphasizes the extent to which Canada and Poland are aligned on the big issues uh, of the day of course, you are a neighbor to Ukraine and a friend of Ukraine and a deeply committed supporter of their resistance to Putin's, Putin's brutal and unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. I want to take a moment to specifically thank you for welcoming members of the Canadian Armed Forces stationed here as part of Operation Unifier, which has trained around 40,000 Ukrainian so soldiers so far. Deputy Prime Minister Freeland and Minister of National Defense Bill Blair actually visited the troops here yesterday and witnessed some of their good work. Here we stand together on the front line of freedom. Les forces polonaises ont aussi apporté leur soutien au Canada en contribuant au groupement tactique de l'OTAN que le Canada dirige en Lettonie. Le Canada prend la sécurité dans cette région très au sérieux. On Saturday, I was in Ukraine to mark two years since Putin's brutal invasion of this sovereign territory. I was joined by three fellow world leaders, the current chair of the G7, the current chair of the European Union, and the current president of the European Commission. We were there, all four of us, to demonstrate our collective resolve to be there for Ukraine and to support Ukrainians in their defense of their freedom their language, their culture, their territory, and for the values of democracy and rules-based order that we all share. Prime Minister, I know that Poland is very much a part of these shared values. It's why you are such a steadfast supporter of Ukraine and a strong partner in NATO. Les dirigeants du G7 se sont réunis samedi soir aussi. J'ai participé à la réunion à partir de Kiev avec la présidente de la Commission européenne et la première ministre de l'Italie. On a entendu directement du président Zelensky. On a réaffirmé notre soutien indéfectible à l'Ukraine qui se bat sans relâche pour sa liberté et son avenir démocratique. Monsieur le Premier ministre, Donald, comme je l'ai dit, je sais que vous comprenez que le combat de l'Ukraine est notre combat à tous. On en a parlé lors de notre rencontre ce matin. Ensemble, on peut clairement distinguer le bien du mal et on reconnaît à quel point le combat de l'Ukraine est important. We know that standing up for our values and our principles as democracies is not just the right thing to do, but it's also the smart thing to do because it is the only path to ensure peace, stability and prosperity for all our citizens. We need the Polish people to continue to stand strong against Putin's games and disruptions. We also talked about what we can do to grow the strong trade relationship between Poland and Canada, which helps create jobs in both of our countries. This includes opportunities to collaborate on clean energy. This is important to us because we know many European economies, like Poland, are moving quickly to unwind their dependence on Russian fossil fuels. Canada is ready to be the supplier of clean energy, including, as Donald mentioned, with our strong nuclear expertise, that a net zero economy will need to bolster energy security in an uncertain world. Donald, like Canada, you see the opportunity that lies ahead in building a progressive, inclusive economy. I saw that as part of your new government, you've established a minister of gender equality, which I know has given hope to many in the country. 
When governments set themselves up with a goal of creating an economy that works for everyone, when everyone sees opportunities for themselves in the future, when everyone sees ways to contribute and benefit, that's how you create resilient, strong, prosperous democracies. Le total du commerce de marchandises entre le Canada et la Pologne s'élève à environ 4 milliards de dollars par an, mais je sais qu'on peut en faire encore plus. Vous êtes notre plus grand partenaire commercial dans la région et aujourd'hui, on a eu l'occasion de discuter des moyens de faire croître encore plus notre relation. Canada has extremely strong friendships and relationships in Central and Eastern Europe. Together, we're working to reinforce our democracies by building economies that are inclusive, and on apporte un soutien militaire, économique et politique à ceux qui défendent leur démocratie et luttent pour leur avenir. Poland and Canada are great friends and strategic allies with close ties, not just between us as leaders, but between us as peoples. As a perfect example, last night I had dinner with some friends in uh, an excellent little restaurant that I highly recommend called Radio Café. It has a deep history of fighting for democracy, of being part of the resistance against totalitarianism, authoritarianism, and communism, but it was also an emblem of the connection between Canada and Ukraine and Poland when I found out uh, that the owner of uh, of Radio Cafe had also opened uh, a restaurant in Montreal, in my hometown. We are interconnected in our values, in our fights for a better future, and uh, in our love of uh, good things and good lives uh, uh, with those restaurants. Donald, thank you for meeting today, and I look forward to all that we're going to do together to deepen the friendship and the cooperation uh, between Canada and Poland, but also to stand strong in creating a better world for everyone. Merci beaucoup, mon ami.